Okay, so, uh, so we're going to take a little detour. Uh, I'm actually adding this video, and I actually just spent some time going into Binance Dollar version of Lucky Cat and Milk Go Media Cardano version of Lucky Cat. And the only reason why is because, you know, I constantly do PvP battles in uh, Milk Sheep. So I have a, so I actually build up quite a bit of Cardano that's just sitting there. So I'd rather earn like 7-8% daily on it, you know? Um, so we're actually going to go cover all of the Lucky Cats. <laughs> They're actually everywhere. So in the last video, I wrote it in the description because I found out after I uploaded the video. I actually found out that if you go to just luckycat.money, it actually tells you all the chains that they're on. So they're on Poly, they're on Polygon, they're on Kronos, AVAX, Phantom, Milko Media, which is Milk Chain, Cardano, and of course BUSD and BNB Miner. So the reason why I'm doing this particular project is because of this: the simple fact that this is a stable coin. That is, yeah, and the dev definitely knows it because he's now taking a five percent fee for this particular type of project. So uh, this is good. Uh, it's a little, it's still cr a little crazy high risk, right? But I actually think this could actually work pretty well. Oh, that's a contract thing to this. So I think this could actually work pretty well, right? You know, because I don't know anywhere in the world where you can basically get a moderate to somewhat low risk finance dollar farming in this thing, right? Because this thing actually is worth more than Phantom and a lot of the other Lucky Cat versions. So, you know, this is obviously doing really, really well. And of course, with the 5% fee, the dev is going to make sure that he either markets this or, you know, pumps some of that money back into this or something like that. Um, so when he has this many miners going on, he obviously is collecting enough money to like kind of just sustain all these projects while keeping some profit for himself. Because obviously I want the developer to make money so that he'll keep, you know, maintaining the project, right? So, again... Uh, probably a quick video. This is obviously going in my playlist. So how would you play this? I mean, again, it's the same thing, right? I mean, would you put all of your stablecoin money into this? Well, of course not. That would actually be insane. Uh, in fact, you would probably... That's actually, you know, very high risk. So don't do that. I mean, in fact, I, th I, I think your chances of losing money like that would probably be quite high. So, I don't know, for maybe the few of you that are really rich, I mean, I'm just going to eyeball this, but I think, like, putting in 10 to 15% if you're a mega whale of the entire contract size is probably more than enough. Like, that's probably your absolute limit. You go beyond that, you're going to be putting in too much money into the project because then the contract wallet becomes your money, right? And everyone's taking your money. That doesn't, you know, so I think you understand what I'm trying to get at, right? It's a little, it's too much, right? You don't want to be... You don't want to become the market in something like this, right? So, so anyway, uh, so I'm definitely going into this, uh, especially right now because crypto always goes up and down like crazy. So having Binance dollars constantly making more Binance dollars is like U.S. dollars just printing more U.S. dollars, uh, risk-free, right? Relatively speaking, quote unquote. So yeah, I'll take three percent daily of that. So. And on top of that, it's going to obviously sustain all the other minor projects. They all sustain each other. So, you know, and this is obviously a very proven concept. So you just have to figure out, like the devs have to figure out what is the correct percentage to work with, right? Because, yeah, the daily return sounds juicy, right? But the developer fee is actually the tax. So you're actually not getting as much, right? Yeah, it'll drain the contract, but that's because the money will just simply go back to the developer and then he does whatever he does with it. So, anyway, just another quick video. Uh, I'll make sure that in all the Lucky Cat videos, because we're going to do all of these. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do all of them today. I'm just going to do the ones that I'm planning to invest in, and then tomorrow I'll just, you know, do the others. Right? But obviously, I'll leave a link to the Lucky Cat money page, too, so you can just pick whatever you want. Um, well, I guess I'll say real quick. I'm not, I'm not doing Kronos because it's a pain in the ass to do Kronos, right? Bridge money, but this would probably be really good for people to do that, who do Kronos. Uh, Polygon, I would have done it, but I actually don't store Polygon on, on, poly, on my thing, so there's no point in me earning 7-8% daily on it, right? I mean, it's technically way better than Sphere in terms of income, but I don't actually burn my Sphere. I, I, I hardly touch Sphere. I only pull money from it when, when I absolutely have to. 
right, to invest in other projects or pay rent or, you know, because Sphere is still my main flagship right now. So I don't want to, like, screw that up, um, damage it. Now, I might I might con reconsider, but because I have so much going on today, plus I want to keep playing games. So, you know, I'll, I'll wait and see what I will do with it because it is technically better in terms of APR. In fact, I would be making seven times the money. So maybe it would be worth it in my case to do, you know, put a little bit of sphere, like sell some sphere now and then just put it, put it in a polygon and then just make some polygon. All right. So I'll see. I'm definitely avoiding AVAX, even though it's better than Ruby mine, simply because I just don't want to deal with the fees. But AVAX is probably good. I'm already in Phantom. That'll be the next video. So there's a lot of ways you can play this. And I assume he's going to like launch maybe other chains too. So we'll have to see. But either way, definitely check out Lucky Cat Binance Dollars. Uh, in fact, I think... Did this go up or down? Oh, man. I wish I... Because I think this said 311, right? And then it went down by like 140, I think. So, yeah, I guess someone took money. Yeah. But either way, we'll have to see uh, how this goes. Um... It'll be kind of interesting, actually, to find out. As cryptocurrencies go up, the dollar usually gets weaker. I wonder if this will go up a lot because people will be dumping their dollars. I don't know, actually. Because when people just not have dollars... I actually, you know, to be honest, I really don't know. I really don't know. But this isn't too bad. This is already three times, two, two to three times bigger than Phantom already. So, you know. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm definitely going to put some of uh, my Binance dollars into this. Right? I'm going to actually build up a position in this. I'm not going to go too crazy with it, though. I'm just going to slowly build it up over time. And then, you know, I'll pull money from it whenever, you know, I feel I need to pull money from it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. It will be Phantom version of Lucky Cat. And I do want to make sure I get the Baked Beans video out today. Because they are the largest version of these uh, minor projects that I think they are. That I'm, that I'm aware of because they have 8 million TVL. And funny enough, they're actually on Binance coin too. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what's up with them. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next video. And yeah, what's nice is you know how simple these things are? It's, it's simple for me. Very little work. Process is fast on YouTube. And not much for you guys and gals to have to deal with. I mean, just enjoy this while it lasts because, you know, once the Tomb Forks and Titano Forks come back, you know, same old deal. And that's the other thing, too. I'm no longer investing in Seifu Forks. They're, like, the only ones that, like, Web3 is doing great. They're almost $400. Yeah, I'm only doing the ones that obviously do the NFT stuff and clearly can code. So, yeah. Oh, well. And I did dump my Wall Street Finance positions a while ago, so. <coughs> but I never put that in the playlist anyway. So. Yeah.